following on from something you said about feeling as if the goodwill from the public has kind of all but dried up. It seems to mirror some comments made from Dr. Krell in Idaho Falls, Idaho Falls the, the gentleman with that viral whiteboard message who was talking about having a commonality that the public is no longer our allies and feeling that there's some patience with hostility that his staff are, uh, uh, are interacting with. And I'm, I'm aware that your facility in McCall had a swastika drawn on it over the weekend. And it sounds like that's a sentiment that you're also experiencing. And I'm wondering what you think has changed in the public and, and what's brought that about? Thank you for that question. I, I think what's, what's changed is that uh, so many people have been uh, misled you know, our workers right now are, in addition to experiencing a lot of physical fatigue, um, there is so much compassion fatigue, and a significant amount of that is driven by um, frustration. And and I'm I'm actually also going to name um, anger. And I think if we if we name it, then we can figure out a better way to direct it. Um, my advice to uh, our health system and my advice to all healthcare workers and my advice to all people of goodwill who want to see this thing put behind us is to direct your um, frustration and your anger where it's more healthy. And that is at the people who are sowing the misinformation. Um, please remember that when, when the people who are being misinformed get this infection and they take the false treatments offered by these doctors and then they get really sick, who do they come to? They don't go to them, they come to us because they know that regardless of their beliefs or their actions, we're gonna do our very best to care for them and to try to save them because that is who we are and that is what we do. And it's the beating heart of healthcare in this country. So, you know, when the chips are down, they know who they can trust. I do just wish more people knew that, I, I, I wish more people, uh, would would and could listen before the chips are down. Uh, and until then, the focus of my frustration and where I'd ask people to direct their frustration and their energy is that those purveyors of false and misleading information who are leading so many astray right now.